Hey guys, what's up? We're gonna try something new today. So I have this copper patina from this Craigslist find a while back when I picked up that stained glass cabinet. So we're gonna try it out and see if it still works because it's a pretty old bottle. It's been sitting uh, since the 90s. We've never used it before on this channel. So it's gonna be exciting for us to try it out. And also I finally made this downloadable PDF guide for those of you who are new to stained glass. It's got a checklist of all the things that you need to get started as well as templates. I think it's gonna be really helpful for those of you who are beginners to all this. I'll leave the link down below for you so you can grab that at any time. Okay, so let's try our first copper patina on this glass planter box project. So this is the last square that I have to cut. So what we have to do is score this line from one end of the glass to the other side. So we can hold it like so and push up on the glass to break it. Okay, one last piece. So just grip it evenly on both sides and push up Okay, we have five glass pieces. As you can see, these came out really nice and if you had some jagged edges over here, you could use a carborundum stone and just file that down until it is nice and straight. So I'm just gonna clean the edges so when we put the copper foil on, it'll stick a lot better. All right, so we are ready for the copper foiling. So the first thing we need is copper foil tape in the 7 30 seconds of an inch width. As you can see, this is the copper backed copper foil. And you just need scissors to cut. And we have our fit tool that we'll use to press and burnish everything onto the glass. So we'll just take the tape and line it up to the edge of the glass, making it even on both sides. come to the end just clip it off you could fold that right over so with the fid tool you can use some type of a stick a wooden stick or a pen of some sort but you want to press down the copper foil onto the glass as smoothly as you can and go around that and do the same to all the edges and all the sides <music> Just fold the corners in to overlap it. All right, so we got our squares done. So let's use some tape to hold them up into a 3D cube form. All right, the essentials. I've got my mask, my soldering iron with the quarter inch tip, and the soldering station set to 700 to 750 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what I like to use. Yours may vary depending on what kind of system that you have. So we have our flux, we got the brush, and the 6040 solder. And also some heat resistant gloves if you want. I'm using latex, maybe not the best idea, but I like it. So the first thing we're gonna do is tack these pieces together so they hold up, and then we can start adding more solder to it. So I'm gonna get some flux. Let's dab it on this spot right here. 
And then we're going to take our soldering iron and we're going to get a little bit of solder onto the tip. Like so. We're just going to add that drop right on top where that flux was. <laughs> That's too much blob. But, okay, so we're going to do that. Let's try that again. Add some flux right there. We'll add a little bit of solder. Just tap it to, there you go. You see how it flows onto the copper foil? There's plenty of flux on my brush, so I'm just going to use that. And let's go with some more solder. Right, I'm going to hold that down because it keeps popping out. Just trying to line it up nice and even. All right, as you can see, there's quite a bit of gap right here. Everything else is nice except for this side. I'm gonna try to fill this in and hopefully that covers it up and the end result won't be as bad so I would urge you to just continue if it doesn't line up perfectly sometimes it doesn't but in the end you can actually fill it in and then um, it's hardly noticeable so let's get some flux on there That's a big gap. Looks pretty square. And just move pretty fast. not going to be perfect just yet. Okay, so at about this point, let it cool down a bit. Try a different side away from the heat. We don't want to break the glass. We don't want to delaminate the copper foil. So just let that be and then let's try maybe this side over here. This is a cooler side. We'll apply flux and then we'll add solder to it and do every single line, all the sides, all the copper foil that you see.
Should I be wearing gloves? Maybe. Who knows how toxic this thing is. Ooh. It's blue. Very blue. Looks pretty clean. Directions. Remove all oil or apply copper patina with a soft cloth. And we got Q-tip. Apply as needed. I don't know. Alright, let's just do it. Oh yeah, um, we should put this in a cap so we don't contaminate anything. Okay guys, we're doing it. So you see the silver solder and what happens if we apply copper patina. Is that changing color at all? Ooh, kind of. Yep, it's reacting to it. But it's also kind of funny that what we're trying to do is get it back to the copper foil color. Holy crap, it's working. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Sometimes it works really well. You put it on, you can see it turn right away. And sometimes it just turns dark and it doesn't go to copper. Maybe you have to go over it a couple of times. But yeah, overall, it's definitely working. It looks really cool too. For some reason the inside is working really well compared to the outside. Once you touch the solder it just turns copper right away. The outside somehow seems like it takes a while to react and like this over here it's still black, still dark. I'm not sure why. What if I cleaned it once more with some flux remover for this quick clean? No, that didn't change anything, did it? Hmm, well. Let's clean this up again. Let's go wash this thing. So this copper patina uh, didn't turn out as bright as I had expected. Um, it looks more of an old antique copper instead, which is not bad, but I was expecting something that was very shiny and super bright. So I went online and read up a few things. Um, some people suggested to use steel wool uh, to really remove all that flux before doing the patina. So what I'd like to do is clean this off again and we're gonna scrub it off with some fine steel wool and then reapply and hopefully it uh, works out a little bit better. So as you can see this is coming off pretty easily. All that copper is leaving the solder. Let's try it again, we got the copper patina. So a few things, they said shake it well. All right, and then we're gonna split it into a cup, just a little bit. And somebody suggested to use a brush instead, so I'm gonna do that. Let's see if this works. I don't think it's working that great. I'm gonna get some Q-tips. <laughs> oh, that's looking good. So it looks like you have to press and really scrub the patina into the solder and that will get rid of all those black spots and get it a little bit brighter. So you can see the inside of the box looks pretty good. Actually, it looks really good. The copper stands out. It's pretty bright. 
but the outside, I just did this side and it looks like crap. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe it's coming back. I don't quite understand it. Brand new side. That's the best side yet, right there. That's what you want. Unfortunately, the rest of it is not looking like that. I don't know. Not the best results. Some of it's good. Got some really bright lines. Like this one, I don't know what happened. This line is perfect. And then you have this side. And it's slightly tarnished. It looks blackish. That side looks worse. Hmm. I don't know. Ah. <sighs> So, I'm not sure what went wrong. The box doesn't look bad. I like some of the copper on it. So as far as the box itself, the uniformity of it and how it looks, I'm really happy with it in that aspect. This looks more of like an antique copper patina which turned out which looks really good if that's what you were going for this would be perfect I tried everything that I could reading up online and seeing the suggestions but I know those of you who are experts in this if you've had success in doing the copper patina please let everyone know in the comments what your secret was I'd love to learn it and I'd love to share that with everybody so in the future we'll revisit this overall not too bad uh, this turned out really nice. I'm happy with it. So thanks again for hanging out. Hope you guys like this one. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one.